So have you looked at your headlight lately and it looks a little bit on the foggy side? Well, here at Low Country Harley Davidson, I'm Doc Harley and we're going to talk about cleaning up your headlight a little bit. Yours probably looks like this and you want it to look like this. Well, let me show you how. First, you use your service manual and you take your headlight out. Make sure that you save all the screws and all that so you put it back right. Once we have it out, take the rubber cover off. And you have a little clip here, and that's what holds this little bulb in here. So you want to push down and move it to the right. It pops up, and you lift your headlight out, and you don't touch this with your hand. You don't want your oils from your fingers to get on that. That will degrade the life expectancy of this bulb. So we're going to put that to the side here, and I'm going to take a Phillips screwdriver, and I'm going to take off this bracket here. It's the only chrome bracket on here. You've got your screw here that holds the clamp. And I'm going to undo this part. And I'm going to lift this out. Now that we have those two items out of the way, we've got a pretty good size hole to be working on. Now, what are we going to clean this with? Well, a lot of you would probably say soap and water, but no, we're going to use vinegar. We're going to use vinegar. It works really, really well with this and doesn't leave a residue in. So how much do you put in, Doc? Well, take the cap off. Two capfuls would probably do it. All righty. Swish it around. And then you take the cloth and pour out the extra in here. And look, it's already doing some of its job. Now what you're going to need next is something that you can get the cloth in there. I've chosen this paint stir. A lot of you guys have a lot of home stuff around the house, and you have maybe a spare this, and these are pretty inexpensive at Lowe's or Home Depot. If you're part of a craft store, you could probably get a long Q-tip swab. Now the next thing you need is a sock. Yeah, I'm sure that you guys that are work out there, you've got a few that have a hole in it. So use a sock, or if you're lucky, maybe you can find that little sock that your dog took away from your wife and hid it underneath the couch. That works really good. So you put it on top of the stick, and then put it down into the hole. And then you just go from the outside in. Rotate it around. Ah, uh, you can see we're having some su success here. And do that till you've gone all the way around. And you could probably do another path around with a dryer sock that doesn't have the vinegar on it. Then when you're all done, let it air out a little bit. It doesn't take long. Don't have to do it overnight or anything like that. Just wait a little bit. Go on inside, have yourself a cold one. Come on out, back out. Now we're going to reassemble. Remember, don't touch this. And there are three tangs on here and it has to fit only one way in here so it fits in the three areas okay oh yeah that's right i'm glad you guys mentioned it got to put this in first because there's something that it has to clip on so we're going to put this back in here line up the holes we're going to use a screw Put your lamp in, and then lock it in. Oh, my goodness. There we go. Takes a little practice. All right, then put the rubber boot back on, and go on back and put it in your motorcycle. Hope this little tech tip allowed you to see, you can see the bright side of this tech tip with a clear lens. From Low Country Harley-Davidson, I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.